I'm Howard Hale with the Harvest USA Report. I'll be back with today's report in just a moment. More and more agriculture is using the Internet to conduct business. That's where our family of websites can help. HarvestUSAReport.com, Cattleman'sCorner.com, HorsemansCorner.com, and AgSearch.us. Good places to find what you need, whether it's cattle, horses, machinery, real estate. It's all there. It's a great place to advertise inexpensively as well, and they're promoted on 22 outstanding radio stations from Portales, New Mexico, to Great Falls, Montana. Doug Hudley is a spokesperson for the National Christmas Tree Association. Doug, Christmas is over, and people who have bought live trees need to get rid of them. How's the best way to dispose of that tree? If you live in a town of, of any size, the community will probably have a recycling program. You can either put it out uh, at the roadside or take it to the uh, to the transfer station or however you normally dispose of your solid waste, and uh, and they'll be in that it's already set up. They'll take it and they will uh, uh, recycle it or reuse it in some way. That's obviously the best way. Most of them are mulched by community operations, and you have um, the opportunity to actually possibly even get your tree back in mulch for your own spring gardening to use it. If you're in a truly rural area, then you probably have, oh, maybe a brush pile of your own. These trees will decompose and return to soil in a very few years if they're just uh, cut up and left outdoors like any, any uh, natural product would. Doug Hundley, spokesperson for the National Christmas Tree Association. Hope you had a great Christmas. Always great to have you along. May God bless and you come back in. Join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.